When I'm communicating with families, I always try to greet them when they're coming in or when they're picking up their child, make sure that I have a little something to tell them about their child's day. We have a bulletin board up on our in our room. It has their schedules on there. It has their feeding schedules and play schedules. We have a daily sheet they fill out every single day, so the parents will let us know if there's anything wrong with them, if they had medication that morning, when the last time they eat, diaper change, all that kind of stuff, and then I fill it out on my end. We have lesson plan going inside in the cubby on a Friday each week. We also have a book where they write what the infant has tried because all of our infants are six weeks to 18 months, so they could be trying new foods, so I can refer back to that book too. Teacher parents conference like one or twice in a year and after we have open houses. We have daily highlights up on our parent board and we also do weekly newsletters to inform the parents what we have done throughout the week and maybe you know something exciting their child did. I call the parents and I make sure that they know, especially when I don't see them at the end of the day. I try to make sure I talk to every parent as often as possible. If that's not possible, I tend to put notes in their cubbies about important things or something we need from them. Some of the challenges that we face, I would say, is if a certain teacher that's not normally in the classroom opens up the room, then we have, sometimes we have miscommunication. I think the toughest is that parents like to under-exaggerate things instead of over-exaggerate with us. Notes don't always work. You know, even sometimes it's phone tag. You have to call them, they call you, and it doesn't always work out. We learned like a sandwiching technique, so, oh, your kid had a great day, but he did this, this, and this. Oh, but he also did this really well, so that's a really good way to create a rapport. Not being able to see them all the time, especially especially if they have early drop-offs and you come in a little later or vice versa. Sometimes it's difficult for the parents to understand that the kid is ready for something different, to move on. The parents don't speak English. Um, I've tried to use some translating apps so that I can make notes available to them. I have also asked other parents that may speak the same language if they could help me relate messages back and forth to them.